Why Costa Rica? At the time, man, my mind was working overtime. I really wanted to find a place that wasn't similar to America. And I'm talking about not just the physical look. Just because it got palm trees and, and a little bit of green doesn't mean that it felt right for my being, you know? So I was looking at things like, who took care of, of nature? And at the time, Costa Rica was the um, the only country in the tropics, like the greenest country in the in the tropics. And that mattered to me, you know, where is there a lot of plant life? Where is there a lot of that green stimulation, that color of love, that neutral color, that feeling of balance, you know? That's what green stands for me, so I wanted that. And Costa Rica had that. At the time too, Costa Rica also was the only country that was using um, alternative sources for the electricity. They weren't using oil to, to um, run anything within the country. And that was super impressive to me. Like, wow, at the time they were going on like 300 days straight, no oil-based uh, electricity, all from thermal energy or wind turbines, and solar energy. And I was just like, oh yeah. This is what this feels like the the new world. This feels like the direction that we're headed, and someone's um, actual government is approving these things. To me, that was like maybe I should be going there, you know. But I'm still working within my mind here, my ego, just online doing research. So I still didn't really know what was going on, but it sounded great. And then when I came on vacation, um, I saw Costa Rica for what it really was. This place right here in the jungle, the Corcovado jungle being the number one most biodiverse place in the world and fresh water falling from the mountains and sun just beaming and so much light, fruit, vegetation, animals, like, and even seeing humans, you know, because we hold a belief that humans are like suffering, that humans aren't doing well. And to see these people living off the land, seeing these people from Costa Rica, like really being in, indigenous, connected to source in the sense of they value the fresh air, they value the water, and they value the nature. Like that mattered to me. Like everything was such a reflection of what I was desiring within my mental, you know? So when I saw that, why not Costa Rica? <laughs> why not? Really? Hey, those brazos, why those brazos? Those brazos, because those brazos is a whole nother dimension within Costa Rica. You know, you can't even call those brazos Costa Rica. Those brazos is those brazos, you know? And it's a place on earth that's super miraculous, magical, truly, like, and I could feel that within my being, you know? Everything can't be physically articulated or shown in the way that you might need it to start believing. But the feeling that I felt, like, I trusted that. It's called intuition. Like, I trusted that it felt good. And even if I had a little fear in my in, in my being, I trusted that all would be well, and it was. We're here four and a half years later talking to you, you know? I remember when I was here birth first just saying why I was coming to uh, those browsers in like Costa Rica. So it's such a full circle moment, and I'm so grateful, truly, like, thank you, those browsers. Thank you, Costa Rica. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, you know? Thank you, everyone that's watching this, everyone is gonna make the move on their own. Not to Costa Rica, but within their own being, shifting perspectives, leveling up, you know? Going in, in, into that God lens, like I'm grateful, truly. What is the Holy Haven? Ooh, what is not the Holy Haven? You know what I mean? That's probably a simpler question. What the Holy Haven don't do? I'll wait. Do, do, do. <laughs> for real but the holy haven is a is an entity it's a, it's his own spirit that me and nurture have birthed together and you know it looks like it's a jungle based retreat center where people can come donation based and um, they can come and relax and retreat and and enjoy they can completely you know be catered to they can completely lay their judgment down it's a safe space where you can lay that ego down and you can come out again you know most of us haven't been out you know what i mean by coming out you haven't really been yourself since you were a child you know the outside world it always makes us be something go in watch out ah but not at the holy haven at the holy haven you get to be inside and outside at the same time now it might not make sense what I'm saying, but you got to come experience it and you're going to see. You get to interact with people, but yet be who you would be if they weren't there. 
When's the last time you've done that? Truly being yourself. That's what the Hoagie Hagen is. And uh, yeah, but we also cook. Me and Nurture, we are incredible chefs. I don't know how it happened. I would say Spirit just pooped us one night. We're sitting in the sun. We got this cooking activation. I don't know, but I mean, we can cook. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, come get some of that. So we, we serve the food, cosmically nurture you, mm -hmm. and uh, we do our thing. Oh, don't forget about the Holy Haven Productions. We also pop in with the music. You know what I'm saying? They got an album coming out. <laughs> Nurture got tracks on top of tracks. Music videos, letting our friends express their creativity. Like, man, it's such a safe space, man. And it's, it's all the way up. All the way. All the way! <laughs> Truly. Who's talking? Who is Cosmic? <laughs> hey, Cosmic is in the wind. You can't, you can't physicalize, if, if that's a word, Cosmic. You know what I mean? The name in itself implies what it is. Like, I know that I'm here. And as long as I had this vessel, Cosmic is a person. You know, I was born in Chicago. I'm here in Costa Rica, all these things. I love having fun, but I'm really just a spirit. And I'm a spirit who's responsible enough to remind you that I love you and to remind you that you deserve love and to remind you that you're worthy and to remind you that it's something greater. And these are all the things that I took a lot of time to remind myself of, you know? So I don't even have to say the words to you. My being just tells you that I love you. And that's what's real. Like, that's who Cosmic is. She an open vessel. The spirit to flow through. She an open vessel. That's it. Who were you before you were this cosmic? I was the same thing. Isn't that the craziest thing? It's just my ego didn't know it. So as I'm doing what I'm still doing now, my mind just thought I was not. And this is where a lot of us get stuck. We don't even realize that we're already doing what we're here to do. Everything can only always be perfect. But your perception of what's happening can make you think it's not. But I've always been doing exactly what Cosmic is doing now. I've always been helping. I've always been of service. And I've always been of love. But sure, I've had a, a, a little bit of confusion. I've had a little bit of chaos within my journey, for sure. But at the end of the day, I've always been the same. The name wasn't the same, though. My mom and my father blessed me with a beautiful name by the name of Kristen. Kristen Lene. And I'm so grateful for that name. That name is a, a beautiful name, you know? Kristen Lene Jenkins. Kristen Lene Marshall. Don't you forget. Signing off. In the jungle, real deep.